a random guy. She likes his comments so basically she thinks I'm hot. Gentlemen, and Solaru, Detective Warg here in the investigation room with the new suspect under my magnifying glass. This TikTok creator who shall go by Clueless Chick to protect their privacy is a prime example of modern female behaviors to watch out for in your dating trials, should you choose to do so. I'll be reacting to their content and dissecting their behaviors in an entertaining and educational way so that you know how to deal with similar characters in your day-to-day -day lives. Let's get right into today's topic. Women don't know what they want these days. So let's get to the topic, TikTok. Maybe when I learn to breathe, we'll finally be able to talk. Maybe when I... Before I roll the gaming content, I really want to take a moment to read over <laughs> this. I felt so happy and free after not talking to guys on dating apps Insta, but now I'm realizing I feel so lost because I felt like my whole purpose was to impress guys and feel wanted, and now I'm like, what do I do? Jesus. Is anybody else reading this over maybe once, twice, or three times and feel like their head's just exploding? Like... <laughs> Men wish that they could have this kind of choice that this woman has. Boom. There you go. Back to The Witcher 3. <laughs> Back to the topic. But seriously, imagine having this dilemma. Most gentlemen will never have this. And it's solely because even average women like the ones that we just watched the freaking uh, TikTok from, they get all of the attention from men because men, you know what we want. We just want the, uh, the cat, right? <laughs> Obviously not, but we're just desperate for connection. Meanwhile, here, she just doesn't know what the hell to do. I can get it. Using dating apps from either side of the playing field is not fun. It's just... Uh, it's a poop shoot. <laughs> it's really a poop shoot. The women have the pick of the litter, and the men are lucky to get the matches. Unless you're, as Wheat Waffles would put it, a 9 or a 10. And for that to be the case, you have to be a genetic <laughs> man of stature. You have to have amazing jawline be tall as hell, have your finances in order, all of that kind of stuff to really stand out. And then you have to put this on your profile in a very interesting way, like it's through an Instagram, uh, Instagram profile, my bad, and just completely freaking impress them. It's a lot of work, gentlemen, and to those that opt out of the dating market, I salute you. Sometimes the best connections are made outside of dating apps, and I'm sure that there's some of you that find that. But to get back to my points, um, the intro topic there just, to me, shows how delusional this woman is. Like, why does she care about the validation of this one TikTok creator that has, like, Botox, lip fillers, clearly a fake tan. Like everything about her just looks incredibly enhanced and it's just not naturally beautiful. I get that our standards of beauty have changed so much nowadays, but it's just it's just mind blowing. This very average woman looks at this other woman who's edited herself. <laughs> Uh, so much and considers that a standard of beauty I really hope that she doesn't go down the same path and decides to get plastic surgery and Botox like that just to feel like she is as worthwhile as somebody like this I think that's the dangers of social media it's so sad it's uh, frankly just so sad and men, if you choose to date girls like this, you have to pick up the pieces in a way. 
some of these women want to be helped, want to be, I was going to say fixed, but that's not quite the case. It's not your job to fix women, just as it's not a woman's job to fix a man. If I were to give her some advice, I really do think that she should accept the validation that she's getting and take action for it. If she wants to be independent, sure. Just don't waste your time on dating apps. You're ruining men's lives and you're ruining your own life by um, deciding to stay there and just seek out validation. You should be using those apps to action. And I think it's the same thing with men. Um, I've personally never used dating apps in my life because I find that the connections that I make with people are more valuable, whether it's in a social circle or whether it's through a gaming community or through a Discord channel or some other alternative way because we're really disadvantaged um, by choosing to use dating apps. And you can see that in many content creators' videos like Wheat Waffles, for example, does the best job um, scientifically. <laughs> so definitely have Wheat Waffles' channel a look at. He's an amazing content creator, but still... She should really get on those apps, find somebody, date, exit, and then maybe her life will feel a bit more meaningful to her. Instead of posting all these depressive TikToks of her listening to Lena Del Rey, which is quite an average looking woman, and her music is also quite average. It doesn't really stand out. She doesn't have range like someone like Ariana Grande. Um... <laughs> which I can't believe I'm, you know, comparing her to, but I'm just saying the level of skill and beauty between those two people are just that. They're different. But most college women end up listening and having a depressive phase, which really shouldn't be seen as a phase at all. Depression's a mental health illness, and uh, happy Men's Health Month, gentlemen. <laughs> it's been overshadowed. <laughs> oh, it's so sad, really. But anyways. I really think this uh, clueless chick should take the time, sit down, make her intentions clear. And if she uses to use dating apps, use them with a purpose. Don't use them to seek validation. If you want to do that, that's what Instagram's for, quite honestly. <laughs> Why else would people post thirst traps and whatnot? But anyways, fiends, it's been a pleasure presenting my findings to you today. And if you liked my content, help spread it throughout YouTube by liking the video and subscribing to my channel. Turn on the notification bell as I will have new findings for you every single day. Do comment down below the video with your thoughts on this creator and any thoughts of mine that resonated with you or any topics of discussion in regards to this video. Don't forget to visit Taylor and Mr. Sazori's channels today as well to support our fellow content creators and catch up on their daily content. Until tomorrow, do your due diligence.